Hello friends and viewers, Oscar Wilde, a famous writer, and today uh, we will discuss about one of his best novels, The Picture of Dorian Gray, written by Oscar Wilde. So this picture of Dorian Gray uh, is the story of one beautiful, innocent young man's seduction of moral corruption and eventual downfall. And oh yeah, it is the story of a real, really creeping painting. The picture of Dorian Gray by this Oscar Wilde. We meet our three central character at the beginning of this book when painter Basil Hallward and his co close friend Lord Henry Wharton are discussing the subject of Basil's newest painting, a gorgeous young thing named Dorian Gray. Basil and Henry discuss just as how perfectly perfect Dorian is. He is totally innocent and completely good as well as being the most beautiful guy ever to walk the earth. Lord Henry wants to meet this uh, mysterious boy but Basil doesn't want him to. For some reason he is afraid of uh, that will happen uh, to Dorian if Lord Henry digs his claw into him. However, Lord Henry gets his wish. Dorian shows up that very afternoon and over the course of the day, Henry managed to totally change Dorian's perspective uh, on the world. From that point on, Dorian previously innocent point of view is dramatically different. He begins to see uh, life as Lord Henry does, as a succession of pleasure in which questions of good and evil are irrelevant. Basil finishes portrait of Dorian and give it to the young man who keeps it in his home where he can admire his own beauty. Lord Henry continues to exert his influence over Dorian to Basil's dismay, Dorian grows more and more distant from Basil, his former best friend, and developed his own interest. One of these interests is Sabil Wayne, a young, exceptionally beautifully, exceptionally talented, and exceptionally poor actress. Though she stuck performing in a terrible third-rate theatre, she is truly remarkable artist and her talent and beauty win over Dorian. He falls dramatically in love with her and she met him. For a moment, it seems like everything will turn out wrongfully. However, this is just the beginning of uh, the Dorian story. Once he and Sabil are engaged, her talented and talent suddenly disappear. She is so overcome with her passionate love for Dorian that none of her roles on stage seem important to her anymore. This destroys Dorian's love for her and he brutally dumps her. Back home he notices uh, something different in his portrait. When he see his portrait, Dorian Gray, it looks somehow crueler. In the meanwhile, the distraught Sibyl commits suicide just as Dorian decides to return to her and take back his terrible words. Sibyl's suicide changes everything. At first, Dorian feels horrible, but he rather quickly changes tune. On, on Lord Henry's uh, suggestion, Dorian reads a mysterious yellow book, a decadent French novel that may makes him re-evaluate his whole belief system. The protagonist of the book uh, lives in his, his life in pursuit of sensual pleasure, which intrigues Dorian. From this moment on, Dorian is a changed man. Dorian start to live as hedonistically as his wicked mentor, Lord Henry, does. The only thing that documents uh, this turn of the worst 
is the portrait which alarmingly begins to exhibit the inward corruption of Dorian's soul. The beautiful image changes, revealing new scars and physical flaws with each of Dorian's dastardly action. As year passes, the man in the picture grow more and more hideous as Dorian himself uh, stays unnaturally young and beautiful. Rumors start to spread about the various people who lives Dorian as has ruined and his formerly good reputation is destroyed. On Dorian's 38th birthday, he encountered Basil who desperately asked his former friend if all the horrifying rumor about him are true. Dorian finally uh, snaps and shows Basil the portrait in which the horrible truth about his wicked nature is revealed. Basil recoils and begs Dorian to pray for forgiveness. In response, Dorian murders Basil, stabbing him brutally. He blackmails another of his former friend uh, into disposing of the body. Dorian retreats to an opium den after dealing with all of the evidence where he encounters an enemy he didn't know he had. Sybil Wayne's brother James through a rather complicated turn of events. James who is in mission to punish Dorian for his mistreatment of Sybil ends up dead. Dorian isn't directly responsible, but it is yet another debt to aid to Dorian tally of life wrecking disasters. Dorian is relieved that his enemy is out of the way, but this even sparks a kind of a midlife crisis. He begins to wonder if his wild but enjoyable lifestyle is uh, worth it. He actually does a goodish deed by deciding not to corrupt a young girl he's got the host for, which makes him question his past action even more. Seeking some kind of reassurance Dorian talks to Lord Henry, who is, who is not any help at all. Unsurprisingly, Dorian even practically admits to murder Basil. But Henry laughs it off and doesn't believe him. That night, Dorian returns home in pensive mood, catching a glimpse of himself in, a, in the mirror. He hates his own beauty and breaks the mirror. Again, he vows to be good, but we find out that his various crime uh, don't really haunt him because he doesn't consider them uh, his fault. Instead, he selfless, selfishly wants to be good so that uh, the painting will become beautiful again. Heartened by his this thought he goes up to see of his recent good deed has improved the painting. In fact, it only looked worse. Frustrated Dorian uh, decide to destroy the picture, the visible evidence of his dreadful crimes. And the closest thing to a, to a conscience he has, Dorian slashes at the painting with the same knife that killed Basil, trying to destroy the work as he did the artist. A tremendous crash and a terrible cry alert the servant that something very, very bad has happened. It's even audible outside the house. Finally, they go upstairs to check it out and are horrified what they find a portrait of their master as beautiful as ever hangs on the wall and a mysterious, grotesquely hideous dead man is lying on the floor with a knife in his heart. Upon close examination, the rings in the dead man's hand identify him as Dorian Gray. So this is the story how Dorian Gray had met his uh, the theme of this novel is uh, uh, 
the portrait of Dorian Gray as a good versus evil, youth mortality, art and culture, innocence, morality and ethics, appearances, transformation, sexuality and sexual identity, friendship. These are the themes of this novel. So the the picture of Dorian Gray as uh, uh, the picture of Dorian Gray is one of the best novel written, one of the best novel written by Oscar Wilde. And this is um, through his own picture, he, his deeds started to transform in his picture and his picture grows older and older day by day while he remained younger and younger. Finally, he decided to, uh, to destroy himself while when he destroyed himself, his picture again goes, went on his former position in a very beautiful state. So this is the uh, uh, the story of this novel, The Picture of Dorian Gray by Oscar Wilde. I hope you will enjoy it when you read it. Thank you very much. Kindly subscribe my channel if you can. Thank you very much.